Just when it seemed like animated movies were done surprising audiences, Disney's Zootopia arrived to blow the doors off Disney's opening weekend numbers. More proof of how hard it is to judge an animated book by its cover. This is garbage. You actually like this? But most audiences will never know about the work that goes into these films months or even years ahead of time. To help solve that problem, we're back with another rapid-fire dose of movie trivia, giving a peek behind the scenes in some of Hollywood's biggest animated hits in the latest installment of Know Your Movies, 20 Awesome Facts About Animated Movies. Zootopia The movie begins when Emmett Otterton is reported missing, but most viewers are too young to realize that the writers are quietly concluding the story of the star of Emmett Otter's jug band Christmas, a children's book published in 1977 and adapted into a TV special with help from Jim Henson. As a young police officer out to prove her skills, Officer Judy Hopps does her namesake proud. The inspiration is obviously Officer Judy Hopps, Holly Robinson's character on 21 Jump Street, the late 80s TV show following an entire cast of fresh-faced young cops. Frozen star Kristen Bell only appears for a single seat, but her cameo as a sloth working in Zootopia's DMV is probably one of her favorite roles to date, since the actress's crippling love for the slow-moving mammals is well documented. She even owns one. Seriously, Google Kristen Bell sloths and thank us later. Big Hero 6 The robot hero of the movie Baymax manages to express emotion even with an expressionless face. But his look actually comes from the Japanese bell known as Suzu, the same bell that the Pokemon Ching Ching is inspired by. Most fans won't realize that Big Hero isn't just set in a futuristic city, but an alternate future dreamed up by the writers. In the movie's version of history, the 1906 earthquake that destroyed 80% of San Francisco was rebuilt by Japanese immigrants, explaining the architecture and the new name, San Francisco. Tangled. The first CG fairy tale from Disney was a massive hit, but it actually began as a sort of sequel to Enchanted, a movie about a cartoon Disney princess thrown into the real world. Rapunzel would have been turned into a squirrel just like Enchanted's Pip, with the girl from the real world being thrown into her place in the animated one. Thankfully, some changes were made. The Little Mermaid the movie and the studio owed most of its success to one of its most lovable leading ladies, Ariel. But most fans don't know that her quirks, tics, and endearing personality came from copying actual scenes performed by Sherry Lynn Stoner, whose natural improvisations wound up being etched in Disney Stone. Frozen The production team headed to Norway to do all the research before creating Frozen's Kingdom of Arendelle, including some stranger local stories. You might just ignore the two subjects arguing over the right way to stack firewood, but it's a nod to the real controversy that struck Norway in 2013, when a TV live feed of a fireplace received dozens of complaints that the wood was placed incorrectly, completely split between bark up or bark down. Talk about an inside joke. The Lion King The name of the movie seems pretty straightforward but its original title was actually King of the Jungle. Marketing materials and merchandise had even been made before the studio realized lions don't live in the jungle. Since the movie was pitched to the screenwriter as Bambi in Africa meets Hamlet, there was another working title too. Bamlet, for short. Wreck-It Ralph. For all the video game companies that gave rights to Disney for this retro adventure, the makers of the Mortal Kombat series weren't as willing. From the red eye, robot arm, and tribal tattoos, fans may think they spot the classic character Kano in the bad and non meeting, but he's actually credited as Cyborg for legal reasons, even though he still executes the fighter's signature finisher. There are almost too many video game easter eggs to count in the movie, but one stands apart. Pay close attention to the Fix-It Felix arcade cabinet and you'll notice the high score of 120,501 or December 5th, 1901, the birthday of Walt Disney himself. Who knew? How to Train Your Dragon Audiences didn't know what to make of Toothless, the movie's titular dragon, since he doesn't fit the usual design of the flying fire breathers. He was originally going to look more like a wolf and closer to a traditional dragon, but when a team member's screensaver of a black leopard popped up, the design was changed immediately. It's no surprise that Toothless looks more than a little like the alien star of Disney's Lilo and Stitch. But for all the movie's fans, Pixar boss John Lasseter wasn't among them. When he took the reins for Disney Animation, he let the directors go. DreamWorks swooped in, landing the duo and one of their most successful properties to date. Despicable Me Against all odds, the reformed supervillain Gru wound up becoming a household name for young fans of the movie. But the movie actually reveals, thanks to his adoption paperwork, that Gru is his last name. His first name is Felonius. Considering how famous the character really is and what a catchy name it is in total, Felonius Monk should look out. The language of the minions might sound like gibberish, but the production team really did write out all the dialogue, translating each and every word into minionese. Since the crew spanned the United States, France, Spain, and beyond, the blend of languages that seem to be spoken by the Yellow Goons makes perfect sense. Kung Fu Panda 
It's fair to say that this martial arts movie turned out far better than most expected, and that's mainly due to the years of research the team put into learning martial arts filmmaking and Chinese history in general. The result was so respectful and accurate, the movie actually urged heads of Chinese cultural and government groups to try to find out why they hadn't made something close to it themselves. The Lego Movie Nobody predicted that this toy turned movie would be as good as it was, but the people actually making it didn't cut any corners. When it came time to record music for the movie's Old Westland, composer Mark Mothersbaugh didn't sell for just an homage to legendary director Ennio Morricone. He tracked down Alessandro Alessandroni, the man who delivered the famous whistling notes to record some for the movie. Oh my G O S H! There were a ton of jokes that only adults would appreciate, but one actually had to be cut. Lord Business runs a tight operation, but one scene showed that a team of scuba cops was spending their time getting romantic with mermaids instead of doing their job. It was one of the only things test audiences thought was a little too adult for kids and was cut, along with not much else. Happy Feet Everyone knows the story of Mumble, the penguin who couldn't sing but could dance like a regular Fred Astaire. Literally, plenty of Fred Astaire's footwork was drawn upon for the motion capture dance, but even Mumble's design was tweaked to resemble the famous dancing actor. There's a suggestion of a bow tie in Mumble's neck and even three black spots in his ankle to subconsciously pay homage to spats worn in old Hollywood musicals. The Iron Giant it became a criminally underrated sci-fi story, but The Iron Giant was almost a musical from The Who's lead guitarist, Pete Townsend. Townsend had been working for years on adapting the same novel, The Iron Man. Planning a concept album alongside it, his producing partner thought animation might be better, and successfully pitched the story to Warner Brothers, with Townsend staying on to executive produce. Those are the bits of trivia, easter eggs, and behind-the-scenes secrets we found from some of our favorite animated films. But which ones did we miss? Let us know in the comments, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.